Chapter 7, Unit 1, The Beach, Section B3. Now listen to the dialogue. I'm going away next week, Mary. Oh, really? For work or leisure? Leisure. We're going to either Kampong Som or Cape. We haven't decided yet. They're both nice, especially the islands off the coast. They're so quiet and peaceful. Where did you and Ted go last month? Thailand. Really? What was it like? We went to two places. The first was in the south. Perfect sunbathing, swimming and windsurfing, but too noisy for us. Too many people? Yes, and lots of hotels right on the beach. Neither Ted nor I like that. At the beach, I like to see trees, not buildings. Me too. Then some people held a lively party on our particular beach with a big band which played really loud music. Plus, there were lots of fireworks and Ted just can't tolerate either loud music or fireworks. So we left for Koh Samed, where it's nice and quiet. Chapter 7, Unit 3, Work and Leisure You are going to hear about what Pauline, Ian and Kath like doing in their leisure time. Section B1. Listen to Pauline. I'm the manager of CCE, the Cambodian Centre for English in Phnom Penh. I've been working there for nearly five years. Running a large language school is hard work, so I don't have much free time. But sometimes I do need to get away from work and do something different. Recently, I joined a local theatre group. I'm not an actress. I just help with stage and lights. Usually, however, I'm happy to just stay at home and listen to music. I mustn't do too much after work. Rest is important for health. I like classical music, particularly opera. I used to go to the opera a lot when I lived in London. I really miss that now. The only other thing I miss is milk. Of course, you can get it here, but it's not the same as English milk. Section C1. Listen to Ian. Free time? I work as a nurse in our local hospital, so I can tell you, I don't get much. Wish I did because I like a lot of things. Eating, cooking, running, gardening, music, classical of course, to name but a few. When I'm free in the evening, I chat with friends at the local pub. Last week I told them about my son, Peter. He's a bright boy, just returned from a holiday in France. I say holiday, but he spent most of his time picking grapes. Partly to earn money, partly because he likes it. Well, that's what he said. It's lovely working under a sunny blue sky, he said. Can you imagine? Such boring work. But when I tell him he mustn't spend his free time working, he just smiles. Section D1. Listen to Kath. I teach English at CCE. I've, alway I've always been interested in languages and now I'm learning Khmer. I like traveling and hope to visit Vietnam next year. I swim every day at lunchtime and play tennis with my friend, Monica, after work in the evening. At first, I wasn't very good at it, but Monica taught me how to hit the ball properly. In the evenings, I sometimes go to the French cinema. They have very good films there. Before going to bed, I read books of all kinds. At the moment, I'm reading a novel that Monica lent me. I, must, I mustn't forget to give it back to her. <laughs> 